Hey everybody, welcome to our back and biceps workout. The first thing we're gonna do is try to just warm up a little bit. Everybody's gonna march in place. Really important when we hit exercises like the back and the biceps, any exercise to stretch out really good beforehand. Get the arms going, because we're gonna use it upper body really good. Everybody keeping good time? Yep. By the way, Stephanie's been in a couple of our videos. She's pregnant, 20, 16 weeks, all right? We're going to make sure if she does anything that feels uncomfortable, she's going to let us know. Paul also been in a couple different exercise routines. Yep. This is actually going to be a workout where Paul's going to shine because Paul is a curl freak. The guy can throw some weight up. Finally. Yeah. <laughs> Finally. Your 60 pound weight. And Anthony, I mean, look at the guy. He's a physical specimen. Wookie. He actually Wookie. has an agent. <laughs> Good looking he is right there. See? So we had a complaint that we're not good-looking guys in the video. We had to call Anthony in. Now we're going to jog in place a little bit. Good. I really want you to shake your arms out as we warm up for this workout. Is Paul in that picture? I want to make sure Paul's in there. I'm going to step off to the side. Handsome double. There we go. Okay, now let's do some jumping jacks. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, twelve, 14, 16, 17, 18. How's everybody feeling? Nice. Good. 21, 22, 24, 25. Oh, we are going to get a sweat on today. Yeah. Okay. Shake it out. Yeah, we're already sweating. Towel off when we need to. All right, now, since we're going to jump into pull-ups, we're going to stretch out all these muscles here. On our sides, up through our arms, make sure we don't pull anything when we get in that first pull-up. So, everybody put your right hand down, let it dangle. Left hand up in the air and put that left hip out. Look right up through your left elbow, up to the ceiling. Take some deep breaths, keep the hands straight. Very good. Anthony, point your palm down a little bit more for me. There you go, perfect. Paul, nice job. Paul's done this before, he's got that. But look at him, looking like a majestic. You see that? It's a Roman statue there. Excellent, just majestic. Okay, deep breath, put that arm down. Let's get the right hand up. Kick that right hip out, left arm dangle, and look right up through that right elbow. Well, we got lights on us. We got some working out. Going to be sweaty. No makeup in this. No spray water. No mist water. Real good stuff. Okay, good. I'm going to stretch the neck out a little bit. We stretch the neck out before we do any kind of curl exercise because you put a lot of strain up in here. I want to make sure that's nice and loose. Just hang your head forward on your chin to your chest. Good. Roll that head to the right and get that ear over the right shoulder. And back over to the left. Oh, I feel that up my traps. How about you, Anthony? You feeling oh, it? Oh, it's tight. That's very good. Yeah. Okay, roll over back to the right one more time. And then back to the left. Okay, now I want to stretch out the front part of our chest. Make sure that's nice and loose. Palms up. And just reach your thumbs to the back wall. I'm reaching my thumbs to Paul. When I was in high school, I could actually touch my elbows behind my back. Like that, isn't that crazy? My wife saw a picture of me in high school and said, is that you? Looked like our 12-year-old son. Surprised he didn't run the other way. Yeah, it's terrible, terrible. Didn't go to the weight room very much in high school. Very good. Okay, now, take your hands like this, put them over the top of each other. And I really want you to round your shoulders out like this in your back. Pull your hands down towards your feet and breathe. Deep breath in, come up a little bit. Exhale round it out and come down. Loosen up all these muscles we're going to use in these pull-ups and biceps. Well done. Now, hands behind your back like this. Clasp them together. Try to get your palms together if you can, and then pull down. Oh, yeah. I usually crack a lot when I do this. Crack and jump. Look at you. You almost have your elbows yeah, together. Try to. Oh, my gosh. Feeling excessive. 
<laughs> I'm an exceptional teacher? Is that, oh, see, that's the first student that's ever said that to me. <laughs> We're going to invite Anthony back, I think, for a few more videos. That's uh, very nice. Sweating, uh, more sweating, Can we get right? that in the credits? Uh, you got, the whoever got his mic, did you get that? <laughs> I want to make sure we got that. Very good. I want to make sure we got that, that captured. <laughs> okay, shake that out. I might go easy on Anthony today. Woo. Okay, now we're going to take our arms together like this, feet wide, deep breath, arms up, and just hang forward. Stretch out our backs and our arms a little bit. We take a long time to stretch and warm up before we do these exercises, especially in the extreme workouts. I feel that all over the place. That is good. Look at Paul doing a rocking back and forth back there. By the way, Paul is a Raiders fan. I think that's why he wore black back there. Yeah, frustrated Raiders fan. But a Raiders fan nonetheless, you've got to respect it. Everybody come up. Head up first when you come up. All right. All right, shake your arms out. Very good. All right, now we're going to go to our first exercise. Now, for those of you at home, when you're doing a pull-up, I expect you just to do something like this, okay? Got a good shot of that, Jeremy. You can get this at any sporting goods store. All right, everybody, we're going to do a standard pull-up. It's basically shoulder width apart. Get your chin up above the bar. All right, let's start here. All right, everybody, you ready? Let's go. On your mark, set, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Good job, Anthony. Stephanie, perfect form. Anthony's knocking them out like a freak over there. Stephanie using the foot assist. That works perfect. Nicely done. Nicely done. I'm going to jump up and do a couple more because you guys are going crazy. Well done. One, two, three, four, five. Now, Jeremy, I want you to come over here and focus real quick. Anthony, on his first, first rep, did something very, very good. He put his foot up right in that chair and helped himself get up in the pull-up bar. Very safe, okay? Good job. Another thing Anthony did, he's done a lot of these. He took a break, okay? bands and Paul's doubled up the bands he's a strong guy Paul is very lot he has a lot of upper body strength he's getting a very good workout he's going to do probably double the reps we would do in normal pull-ups using the bands very good Paul nicely done how's that feel great excellent excellent okay now we're going to jump into some biceps now you're going to feel this as you do these exercises it's a very straightforward curl dumbbells in each hand one arm up one arm down the other arm up, the other arm down. Guys, 8 to 10, 10 to 15. Everybody ready? You might want to start out a little light while you're warming up here first. We'll get back to this again. Everybody forward. On my go. Ready? And one. Back down. Keep your knees bent a little bit. Remember, it's 10 each arm. You can do 20 total curls, 10 each arm. Good. Now, if you want to, I'd recommend sliding one foot slightly in front of the other one to give yourself a little balance and take some pressure off your lower back. How's everybody doing? Good. Good? Excellent. How's that weight feel? Good. Good. Okay, I'm going to set these down. Now remember, if you're going to work with weights at home, picking up the dumbbells, setting down the dumbbells, pay attention to that. Always sit them down, bend the knees, keep the back straight, picking them up the same way. I don't want you bending over, pulling up that way, you're going to throw your back out. Okay, now we're going to do a standard chin-up. The last one we did, our palms are facing outward. Now we're going to put them inward, okay? Same principle applies. Help yourself up with the chair if you want to. Use the chair to assist you. Now, Paul's going to do these. He's just going to rotate his hands on the bands and pull them down this direction. Everybody, maximum reps. Ready? Go. Steph, that's perfect. Notice how her leg is pushing her up. She's not pushing the chair forward. Excellent job. Good job, Steph. Paul, well done. Paul is getting a great workout with those bands. Key to the bands, you get resistance to the whole motion. There is no taking a break. 
Very good job. Anthony pumping out a few more reps with the chair. A key to getting better at pull-ups. Don't kid yourself, use the chair. Every rep you take when you're spent doing a regular one, and you put that foot up in the chair, is gonna increase your ability to do more reps later on. Okay, what we're gonna do here is called an inside-out curl. You hold the dumbbells like this, and you curl in and then out, okay? In and then out. Now, I've got a bad elbow. Sometimes it's a little funky with me. I'm actually gonna drop down a weight and see how this works, but I'm gonna try it. Everybody ready? Again, 20 total, eight to 10 if you can. You're gonna do 15 if you can. All right, here we go. Well, I'd recommend sliding one foot just slightly in front of the other like this. That takes just a little pressure off your lower back and gives you some ability to lean forward. Ready? Here we go. In and then out. In and then out. In and then out. Now, Steph, I bet you can go up a weight on that exercise, can't you? Uh, we'll see it for 30 reps. <laughs> yeah, there you go. How did that feel last time? Could you get through all of them okay? I got through all of them fine. Very good. But I just know that there's a lot more to come. Yep, there is a lot more to come. So good, you're pacing yourself. That's fine. You're also pregnant, so it's probably good to take it a little bit more cautious. Oh, how's everybody feeling? Good. It's getting tougher. Excellent. They are getting tougher. Two more sets of pull-ups. You will really feel that. Now remember, at home, eight to 10 reps. If you can do it with five pound dumbbells, 10, 15, 20, doesn't matter. All right, now, wide grip pull-ups. Everybody ready? And fire away. Good job, Steph. Good job, Anthony. Paul, real good. Real good. Focusing getting those elbows out wide. Nice. See, he's struggling. He's struggling here with the bands. Those are hard. Those are hard because that band wants to pull itself in. And when you're pulling that thing wide, you are struggling. Good job, dude. That's enough. Good job. Well done. That's working it, isn't it? Oh, my. I'm going to demonstrate this for you guys first, okay? You're going to go a little bit lighter weight on this because form's important, all right? I'm gonna go sideways so Will can get in front of this and Jeremy's got the front. I want your elbows to rest inside your knees, okay? On your lower part of your thighs, like this. And you can clasp the dumbbells together if you want and just come up like that, okay? You gotta put your butt down. I don't want you bending over, I want that butt low. And do, again, eight to 10, 10 to 15. Everybody ready? Grab some weights. You said one lower? I'd, I'd say go a little lighter on this, okay? Yeah, try that and if you wanna go up, set them down. Grab a heavier weight. Everybody ready? Here we go. And look up when you're doing it if you want to. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good gracious, look at the guns on Anthony. How's that feel? Good? Yeah, that was good. All right, now oh, we got one more. Up now. You're tightening up? Oh, yeah. One more set of pull-ups. Let's work through this one, okay? Really try to get your maps, max reps out here. And again, since it's our last set, take a break if you have to and knock out a few more reps. Everybody ready? Good job, Steph. Good job, Paul. Make sure you breathe good, Paul. Try to get your back arched. There you go. A little bit more. Don't keep your back rounded very well. Anthony's taking a break. He's going to knock a few more out. Good job, Paul. Nice job, Steph. Excellent. Okay. Anthony's doing more. I got to do more. Working out with the buddies good. Woo! One, two, three. Okay, I'm done with pull-ups. How about you guys? Those are the hardest ones. Those are the hardest ones? Yeah, for me. Okay. We're going to do ISO one-arm supported curl. A little lighter in this one as well. 
Whose forearms are on fire? A little bit. Mine are on fire, absolutely. Yeah, we'll, tr we'll try the 30 from Steve Obi. Go you there. go from there, man. You're going to get 10 out of those. Easy. <laughs> you are a rock star. Here we go. <laughs> All right, left arm here. Get that arm just kind of below where you were watching. 10, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, one, four, 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 four. Oh, I'm feeling that. That is ridiculous. Steph's cranking them on over there. We ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, yeah. Especially after those narrow grip chin ups. We got a big old, big old break here. Everybody grab a towel. Yeah. Right there. Yeah, forearms on fire. This break's important. We got the second half of this workout to go. Pull-ups are over, chin-ups are over, so. Oh, thank goodness. Yeah, thank goodness, huh? <laughs> uh-huh. That arm. Kill me. <laughs> that feel good, though? Yeah, but. You guys ever do a workout like that? Bang, bang, no, bang, huh? No, not no? mixing it in. Yeah, see? You shock your body, you mix it in, your body never has a chance to know what's hitting it. I'm gonna do lawnmowers. Heaviest weight you have, that's what I recommend you grab. Be careful lifting it up, especially you, Stephanie, with child over there. Throw that weight in number. Now, you'll be surprised at what kind of weight. I can actually probably do 80, 100 pound dumbbells with this. I don't have that in front of me. Same thing we did with the isolator curls. I want everybody to put their left elbow right above their knee. Okay, just pivot your feet a little bit to your left. And all you're gonna do is simulate starting a lawnmower, okay? And I want one smooth motion up like this and stop with the weight right about your right, right, right rib cage. You don't have to go any higher, just that rib cage, okay? 10 for the guys, 10 to 15 for the girls. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Very good. Okay, let's go left side. Here we go, everybody ready? And one. Two, three, four, five. Okay, Steph, good. Steph, I want you to try to bring it back towards me a little bit more. The elbow, there you go. Bring that back towards your elbow towards me. Very good. Excellent. Good job, Anthony. You got it. Bring it down a little bit farther, Anthony, all the way to the ground when you come down. Good. Now, we're going to do a curl. We're going to do this three more times, that whole set. We're going to do hammer curls. You can probably do maybe five pounds more than your last set of curls when you do a hammer curl. Hammer curl is just this. You're gonna hold the dumbbell like a hammer. Your hands stay straight up and down, all right? I'm gonna go three fives here for this. See how that goes. How's everybody feeling? All right, right foot a little bit in front of the other one. If your left foot's more comfortable, you can do that too, it doesn't matter. All right, 20 total, 10 each arm, here we go. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now you should be feeling that in your last few reps, folks. You should be working hard. Okay, so, bend over rows. Here we go, everybody. Get your butt down. Breathe and just pull it up. One, two, keep that back straight. Three, four, five. Good job, Steph. Perfect form. You too, Anthony. Paul looking good. Paul's doing it back there. Excellent. Paul, I want you to get that back arch a little bit more. There you go. Now bend forward. Excellent. Nice job. Eight to 10 for guys, 10 to 15 for girls. Okay. I like these isolation curls because they get your whole body engaged. Everybody ready? Remember, your arm's like this over your knee. That's that curl. Here we go. I did 30 last time. That was a lot. Why not, huh? Why not? Everybody, here we go. One, 
two, three, four, I don't know about you guys, but I'm working hard. Steph, you got perfect form. That's excellent. You're doing great. Here we go. Get that left arm going. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very good job, everybody. Good job, Steph. This works your lower back right here. I don't know if you've ever seen athletes who have just a little bit of a V-groove up their spine because they got really strong lower back muscles. It's going to work your butt and your hamstrings at the same time. Very important this exercise, folks. Keep that back. Do not arch your back. Weights stay here. You can have a slight bend to your knees if you want to, especially when you're starting out. Come down like this. Get the weights as far as you can. You're going to feel that stretch. <sighs> exhale on the way up. Make sure you exhale on the way up. Okay, grab a lighter weight I recommend for this. See how you feel. If it's too light, sit them down, pick up a heavier weight. Everybody ready? We're gonna do 10 of these, or 15, whatever your pleasure. Here we go. One. Two. Three. Four. Don't bend your elbows. Six, seven, eight, nine. How's everybody feel? Those feel okay? Good. At least you don't feel this the next day. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm going to do lawnmowers. Heaviest weight you have. Here we go. Everybody ready? And one, two, three. Four, excellent. Okay, Paul, I want you to set that weight down for a second. Slide it up this direction, and you pick it up, pick it up on an angle like this, not like this. Okay, there you go. It'll make it more natural to pull your elbow straight back to your butt. Perfect. You got it. Dead nuts. Excellent. Anthony's got it. Well done, everybody. Big difference, Paul. Well, you go. You got the form down. Anthony's got it nailed. Okay, go to the left arm. How's everybody feeling? Okay. Remember, start with that weight up towards your foot so you get that natural tendency to pull it back. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm going to go 12 because this is a light weight. 12. All right. All right, everybody take a quick break, towel off. When you're toweling off, I want you to get your hand nice and dry because we are going to wreck your biceps right now. Mm -hmm. Everybody ready? Now make sure you don't get lazy in this. Make sure you keep one foot a little bit in front of the other, set the weights down properly, pick them up, and do them. You can catch your breath before you take that next set of dumbbells up, okay? Here we go. Everybody try to stay pace. And I want you, remember, you're only doing seven, seven or eight, okay? Whatever you feel like, not 15. <sighs> We'll try to stay together. Everybody ready? And you're going to go one arm at a time, remember, okay? One arm at a time. So you're going to actually do 14. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13. 14, I may have bit off more than I could chew. Deep breath. Grab the second set. Oh, lordy, lordy, lordy. Deep breath. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, four, eight. One, two, three, four. How's everybody doing? Uh, oh, it's burning. 
Two more sets left. Two more sets. Deep breath. Halfway through. <sighs> oh, wrong one. Oh, okay. Everybody ready? Deep breath. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Forearms are dying. Nine. Ten. One. Two. Three. Four. Oh yeah! Last set. Steph, you go no weights in this one if you want to. I can do five again. You're gonna do fives again? Good girl. How's everybody doing? Here we go. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, and you are done. Oh, man. Way to go. We're going to stretch it out. Nice job, you guys. How's everybody feel? Uh, awesome. huh? Oh, man. Awesome. Burn, burn, burn. Burn, numb, tight. <laughs> So, okay, everybody, keep walking. I want you to walk around and shake your arms out like this. We're shaking our arms out. We're going to loosen up our forearm muscles, loosen up the biceps. It's a ballistic stretch. Just shake them out a little bit. Important to shake those wrists out, okay? Actually, shake it like this. Literally shake it, just like that, okay? You'll feel that muscle start to loosen up your forearms. Whew. This is when you want to head right down to the beach after you do a bunch of curls, right? Or right to bed. Yeah. <laughs> You live in hot Wisconsin. Shower and, hot that's shower and a nap. <laughs> you live in Wisconsin. That's exactly where you go. <laughs> that was great. You guys did a fantastic job. Okay. All right. Now I want you to stand here. Put your left arm out in front of you. Put your right hand up in your hands and just pull back in those fingers. Okay. Stretch that forearm out. Stretch it out. Good. Stretch those arms out. Hold that about 20 seconds if you can. Any of you guys ever done a workout like that before? Nope. How about you, Steph? You've done some crazy yeah, workouts, haven't you? Yeah, in gymnastics. Yeah. But not recently. <sighs> a few years ago, huh? About five. Yeah. <laughs> okay, now go oh, the right gosh. arm. More like eight. eight. <laughs> now, okay, I was waiting for you to be honest. <laughs> I wasn't buying five years, but I'm a gentleman. I wasn't going to call you out. But I'm glad to see you yeah. cop to it. Well done. <laughs> it's been eight years since I did it. Girl, you're pregnant, you're knocking back pull-ups like you did and just did that arm workout. That's fantastic. Very good. Excellent. Excellent. All right. Let your arms dangle again. Shake them out a little bit. Get your legs wide. Arms up in the air. Exhale. Let your arms hang. Okay. Stretch out that lower back. We did those Romans. Take a deep breath in and come up a little bit. Exhale, back down and let it stretch. Now flex your quadriceps if you want and lock those knees back as much as you can. You'll feel those hamstrings stretch more. If you want to, you can lean to the right side a little bit. You'll feel it more in your right hamstring. Let's go back to the left. Just a little bit different of a stretch. Anthony, you got your work on it for the day. What do you think? Yeah, I think I did. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay, everybody come back up. Head up first, arms up. Very good. Now keep your legs wide. Another deep breath like this. Exhale down. Put your left elbow over your left knee. Left elbow over left knee and just shake that right arm in a pot stirrer like this, okay? Okay, you're going to feel your shoulders, your forearms, your biceps stretch out a little bit. I'm just going counterclockwise for a few seconds. I'm going to go clockwise. Remember, you don't want to feel like you're supporting your arm. It's just dangling there. This is the most gentle way to loosen up that shoulder socket after pull-ups and to stretch out those arms after all those curls. Rotate. Let's go to the right side. and Right arm over the right knee. Let that left arm hang. I love this workout. I love pull-ups. I used to hate them. First started, couldn't do four pull-ups. Now I can do a lot of them just because I keep practicing. 
Here we go counterclockwise. Just feel that loosen up that shoulder. Very important, especially after these advanced strength exercises, to give yourself enough time to cool down and let your muscles repair themselves in the right way. All those muscle fibers need to line up, and if you don't stretch them, they start to heal up all that scarring in bad places. Next thing you know, if all you do is back and pull-ups and don't stretch, you look like this. Walk around just like this all day. That's right, okay. Everybody feet together and stretch out our lats. One more time here. Left, right, hang that right arm down like this. Just let it dangle. Left arm up. Kick that left hip out. Look right up through that left elbow. Palms for, towards the floor. Deep breaths. Feel that stretch from your fingertips all the way through your arms where you did those pull-ups all the way down through your lats. Oh, that's a great stretch. This is this a great stretch, everybody? Yep. Oh, yeah. Stephanie, I didn't hear you. Uh, I can feel it. Oh, that's better. She's like, this is nothing compared to gymnastics. Way to go. One last stretch we're going to do. We're going to stretch our shoulders out, okay? Left arm out like this, right arm like this. Keep your arm perfectly straight. Very good, Anthony. Excellent form. Feel that pull all the way through the back of your shoulder, all right? With those chin-ups and pull-ups, we want to make sure we stretch that out back there. Very good. Okay, let that dangle. Bring that right arm forward. Just like this. Oh, I really feel that pull. I need a nap. <laughs> How about you guys? I'm with you. This was your workout, wasn't it, dude? Huh? You hammered those curls, didn't you? Well, got it's a good workout. All right, let's shake, and we are all finished. Thanks, everybody. We appreciate it. We'll see you next workout. Good job, Ooh. AB. Yeah. Nicely done. Good one. Paul, well Yo. done. Steph, way to go, girl. Yeah, nice job. Excellent. <laughs>